We've talked about fiber optic Thunderbolt cables before, and these things are crazy cool. They'll do 40 gigabit per second to distances as long as 50 meters. And they're so durable that you can tie them in knots and pull on them like this without them breaking. 50 meters, I mean, that's pretty far. But Thunderbolt allows you to daisy chain multiple docks and peripherals to achieve distances much, much further. We have got six spools of 50 meter Thunderbolt cables, and we are going to be hooking up this GPU almost a thousand feet away from our computer. That's right, I'm gonna show you guys the new unit where we're gonna be doing some more of our benchmarking and testing, and we're gonna run the cable all the way there. And it's sponsored by NZXT's Build, so naturally we're gonna be using one of their gaming PCs as our source, except obviously we're gonna to wanna to rip that 3080 Ti out, put it in an external enclosure, and then go for a little walk here. Obviously, before we go off adventuring, we want to get a baseline for what kind of performance we would expect running a normal, just three foot copper cable from our Thunderbolt port to our GPU here. So we're gonna go ahead and fire up Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm running at the highest settings, 1440p, exclusive full screen with motion blur disabled. Oh, come on. All right, 60 FPS average. Now let's see what happens when we take it somewhere else. David, do we want to jump the fence or do we want to like go around or what? Baby. You want to jump the fence? Heck yeah. All right, let's jump the fence, baby. In that case, I'm going to put the 3080 Ti down. These zippers better hold up. Ah! Ooh, crap. I'm having too much fun already. You need me to hold, hold one in here? Yeah, I'll go ahead and plug it in. Hopefully our neighbors don't like trip over this. Ow! I hope this works. I only tested it with two cables. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, 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 stop! Oh my God, this fence is barbed wire, David. Oh no, they're backing their truck in. Long story, we need to run a cable all the way from this building to one over there. You're backing in now, right? And then are you guys done for the day? Oh boy. If I got it out of your way now, then would we be, we'd be good after that probably? Yeah. Hey, look, it's Brian. Oh, oh. You're good to plug in, over. We're plugged in. I will go plug in the GPU. Why don't you come back and fire up Tomb Raider? Where'd it go? Oh, we're gonna make it. Sure? Well, no, I'm not entirely confident because the thing about Thunderbolt, it requires very, very tight tolerances in terms of latency. At 300 meters, we are approaching the point where even at the speed of light, that is a non-negligible amount of latency for something like a high-performance graphics card. So I'm hoping we will make it the full 350 meters but this is by no means a guarantee. I actually lied a little because you don't need both a hub and the GPU at one node at so, a time. So we only need one of these at a time. We only need one of these at okay. a time. Well, yeah. that's fine. We'll test 50 meters first. Okay, so is this, is this thing on? Hello? Oh yeah, yeah, the RGB is on. Okay. Oh man, these hikes back and forth are gonna get pretty stupid. That's a long way around. Uh... We got the spool, let's go. We got a blue screen on the computer, so I'm just uh, restarting it. Okay, good luck. I unplugged it while the game was running, and I think it just got a little confused. We are off to a real good start here. Ooh, that's very interesting. We've dropped 15% of our performance already. Wow. Okay, uh, come grab this cable then. 15%. Is that because of the raw distance? Is it because of the signal translation that's happening to convert to optical and then back? Will it get worse? I feel like Ned Flanders, just. Oh, oh, hi there. Hi. Oh, I see you. There's a Thunderbolt glory hole going on over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My poor new jacket. All right, so let's go ahead. We're gonna unplug our Thunderbolt GPU, plug in our first Thunderbolt dock, which is acting as a Hey, Colin. Hi. Razor in their infinite wisdom doesn't label this bloody thing. Does this one support daisy chaining? I think so. Let's double check that because I actually use one of these at home and I think it might not. And I'm gonna go get the rest of what we need. So another hub, another Jackery. And uh, I will be right back. Yee. I believe what we've done here is supposed to work. Now, something to note is that external GPUs are really not supposed to be hooked up through a hub at all let alone five hubs. 
We have no idea if this is gonna work at all, let alone well. Oh, hi there. Hi. Neighbor? <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Would you like a graphics card? I would. Um, and a cable, and A cable perhaps. and a jackery. Oh, right. Um, well, here, should I just or, come for a little ride with you? Are you just gonna ride on the cart? Yeah, yeah, I was just gonna- <laughs> And I'll tow you? Scoot it. No. <laughs> Five bucks says I biff with this 3080. T.I. 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 That's something one-handed, let me tell you. Wow. Okay, we got the 3080 Ti. Linus is, I think, scoot scooting the jackery and stuff over. Really, we should have handed it over the fence. I don't know what we were thinking. In the meantime, we can spool out this cable straight down the parking lot. Let's see how, see how much further we can get this line. Oh, oh, nope, there's one more winding. Okay, that's another 50 meters. Uh, the building we're going to is just the next complex to the right there, and it's okay. unit 120. 120? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, I totally need a... Oh, even better! I needed both of these things. Thunderbolt dock is powered. Oh boy. It's barbed wire! No way. I'm aiming for that spot right there. What, what could go wrong? Yvonne's gonna kill me. Ha! Now that's interesting. Oh. I think our performance is actually better this time around. I think it might have just been the driver being kind of like bugged out from the sudden disconnection before. It's starting to rain. So this is my genius idea. Uh, we'll just put a Rubbermaid bin on top of... Garbage bags? Um, 55 FPS. So wait, no, that's worse again. I didn't see any weird stuttering or anything in the gameplay. The performance is a little bit worse. It seems like we're losing. There's a little bit of overhead with each of our hubs that we're going through. And, you know, as much as it might not be as good performance as you would expect from a 3080 Ti, it's sure as heck running. If our display and our peripherals were at the other end, right? So the computer's got a Thunderbolt connection and we're gaming over on that side, the run is 100 meters but actually it has to go round trip, okay? So you got your PCI Express run going to your GPU over there, and then the GPU actually has to send back the DisplayPort information all the way back to us here, so it's going 200 meters. You guys are good to unplug. Okay, here we go. So unplug that, yep. You wanna handle carrying the graphics card? Mm -hmm. This is our third 50 meter, well, cable. Okay, we're just gonna plug it in willy-nilly, keep it kind of, I'm gonna just, yeah. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, yep. oh, geez. Mm-hmm. Fiber optics don't mind being run over, right? We're gonna just drive over the fiber optic layer. Okay, give it a couple seconds here, but the you should see the GPU real soon. Let's try and make this faster. We can run the next line while we wait. Sorry about the landscaping. Uh, those are roses. Ow! Ow! Okay, we're in unit 120, apparently. I have no idea where that is. Do you know where unit 120 is? Which address are you talking about? Uh, I can find out. What address is unit 120 located in? This is very interesting. I managed to launch the game, but I haven't made it past the splash screen. Ooh, we're hitting a limitation. How close are you guys to the new office? I don't know which building we're in. I see the problem, it launched with the wrong GPU. Let me see if I can get this sorted out on my side. Still no information on which building I need to go to. Classic Linus. The NVIDIA GPU is not showing up. I'm gonna give the system a quick restart. And see if it pops up, but you might wanna give me an unplug and replug. Okay, I'll walk back to it now. How sure are you that you're plugged into the correct ports on the Razer one? The input is the one on the front. Oh, then I'm definitely not plugged in the right one. Okay, so we're in the front port now. I think at the back it doesn't matter. Okay. I want to make it very clear, and this is not just because Corning sent us a bunch of their Thunderbolt cables. This is far beyond what is reasonable for this spec. We just want to see the limits. I got no GPU showing up yet. Okay, I just unplugged and replugged it. It's still not showing up. Do you want to try the same port that I did? <laughs> the, the middle one or the right one? The one with the red awning there? Okay. Said it was down the right side? Is it showing up at all? I'm like kind of worried that the cable got mushed when someone drove over it. Wait, Colin, can you hear me? 
I'm expecting he's going to team call me. Yep, there it is. My walkie-talkie battery died. Uh, shocker, <laughs> okay. Someone, myself included, and some other guy drove over the cable, so hopefully it's still intact. I think it'll be fine. Do you see it on your side? No. Oh, there should be an LED, hold on. Okay, oh, okay, we got LEDs on now. It's okay, so like the GPU is definitely on now. And my system's locked up. The GPU just shut off. Let's, let's try replacing that one cable just to see and we'll go from there. Worst case scenario, I'll just take you guys and I'll show you where the new unit is. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, Jamie, plug it in. Are the LEDs on? Yeah, I just blue screened again. What did you do, Colin? We're trying to turn it off and on again and clearly it also turns yours off and on again. No GPU. What do you think, Colin? Can we maybe try to at least plug in a USB drive at the new office? and I'll transfer a file or something. It's the fact that you've got this PCIe device over on the other side. Something like USB is not nearly as sensitive to latency, so. I have one of those Samsung T5s in my pocket. Maybe just plug in that T5 and I'll see if it shows up. Okay, let's do that. Ah, oh, come on. And I'm plugging into the T5. I only see the Seagate Fire Cuda so far. Well, the Corning reps did tell us this is a bad idea. I don't think I was CC'd on that email. We tried. Are we on all Razor docks so far? There's two docks. There's one on the other side of the fence and then one in the middle of the parking lot. Are you plugged into the one that's at 100 meters then? The drive is plugged in at 150 meters. So you should have one more dock then, right? No, we're plugged in directly into the Thunderbolt cable. That won't work because there's no power. Ah. Oh. You're right, I'm, ah, uh, okay, yep. That's a limitation of optical cables. While they can carry data, they need to both be powered and you need to provide separate power for any devices you wanna plug in. So Colin had a little moment there and he tried to plug our drive directly into the dock, which explains why it wasn't coming up. So he's gonna plug in our third dock at the 150 meter mark. And let's see if this thing shows up. I'm, I'm actually pretty hopeful right now. Now's as good a time as any to take a closer look at our source here. NZXT's build systems let you configure your pre-built the way that you would a custom rig. So you can go AMD or Intel. They've got a two year warranty with two business day build service and everything else about it is custom. Now we actually got an AMD machine originally, but because everything about NZXT build is using off the shelf, like enthusiast grade custom components, there was absolutely no compatibility issues of any sort. We're gonna have a link below where you can learn all you need to know about NZXT build and let's uh, check in with how those guys are doing. People always tell me I look awkward when I run. This is probably the case. Okay, we're plugged in. Uh, you seeing anything over there? Oh, they're going over our Thunderbolt. Rest in peace cables. But it was an oasis of exciting. This city of Oregon. Yeah. Hello? Oh my God, I wasn't on speaker. Nope. Nothing, eh? No dice. And that kind of makes sense because nothing would prevent Corning from making a 100 meter or a 200 meter version of their cable other than if just the signaling didn't handle that kind of distance very well and we were crazy to even try it in the first place. I guess there's a limit to how far you can go with fibers. We tried though, we really did. Honestly, I'm pretty pleased we even made it to 100 meters, even though we didn't make it to the new office. So why don't we head over there and I'll show you guys the new location, kind of talk about what we're gonna do there. So unfortunately, we couldn't find another unit in the same complex that we're in, but we really need the additional space because we wanna get our hands on some new testing equipment and stuff to really take things to the next level. And there's, there's nothing in our complex. So, oh. We saw a for sale sign here. It's only about 150 meters or about 500 feet as the crow flies from our existing office. But because it's so winding and roundabout here, we're probably gonna have to get a handful of electric scooters so people can kind of scoot back and forth between the two buildings. Unfortunately, the possession date isn't for a little bit and the existing owners just couldn't be bothered to, <laughs> to let us in just to show it to you guys today. So it's this guy right here. Unit 120. So it's about 3,000 square feet, and obviously we couldn't do any of this without you guys watching and sponsors like NZXT Build. So thanks for sponsoring the video. Thanks you guys for watching. See ya. Oh, if you're looking for something else to watch, the last time we played around with fiber optic cabling was in my house when we had a single server and then fiber optic display port and USB running all over the house so that it could act as the central brain. 
Oh, that was a pretty fun video. There was a dead squirrel, which was unfortunate, but yeah, Colin found it in the attic. <laughs>